Even song, though dating from the Reformation in its present form, derives from monastic services which go back to the very first age of the church, and even beyond that to the Jewish synagogue. This service is taken from the 1662 prayer book. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts we have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, and have given power and commandment unto his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfailingly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him, which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to 
the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. My soul. The lesson is written in the 55th chapter of the prophet Isaiah, beginning at the 10th verse. As the rain and snow come down from the heavens, and do not return there without watering the earth, making it produce grain to give seed for sowing and bread to eat, so it is with my word issuing from my mouth. It will not return to me empty without accomplishing my purpose and succeeding in the task for which I sent it. You will go out with joy and be led forth in peace, before you mountains and hills will break into cries of joy, and all the trees in the countryside will clap their hands. Pine trees will grow in place of camel thorn, myrtles instead of briars. All this will be a memorial for the Lord, a sign that for all time will not be cut off. Here endeth the lesson. My soul doth magnify
The second lesson is written in the eighth chapter of the Epistle to the Romans, beginning at the first verse. It follows that there is now no condemnation for those who are united with Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set you free from the law of sin and death. What the law could not do, because human weakness robbed it of all its potency, God has done, by sending His own Son in the likeness of our sinful nature and to deal with sin. He has passed judgment against sin within that very nature, so that the commandment of the law may find fulfillment in us, whose conduct is no longer controlled by the old nature, but by the Spirit. Those who live on the level of the old nature have their outlook formed by it, and that spells death. But those who live on the level of the Spirit have the spiritual outlook, and that is life and peace. For that outlook of this unspiritual nature is enmity with God. It is not subject to the law of God, indeed it cannot be. Those who live under its control cannot please God. But you do not live like that. You live by the Spirit, since God's Spirit dwells in you, and anyone who does not possess the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, then although the body is dead because of sin, yet the Spirit is your life because you have been justified. Moreover, if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then the God who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give new life to your mortal bodies through His indwelling Spirit. Here endeth the lesson. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from hence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. 
Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Of this night, 
for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Let us pray. Almighty God, who dost from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth, we commend to thy merciful care the people of this land, that in being guarded by thy providence, they may dwell secure in thy peace. Grant the ministers of state to know and to do thy will, that they may defend and provide for thy people to thy honour and glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for succour in this time of sickness. Almighty and merciful God, with whom are the issues of life and death, grant us, we beseech thee, help and deliverance in this time of grievous sickness and mortality, and sanctify to us this affliction, that in our sore distress we may turn our hearts unto thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, the comfort of the sad, the strength of them that suffer, let the prayers of thy children who cry out of any tribulation come unto thee, and unto all that are distressed grant thou mercy, grant relief, grant refreshment, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for God's blessing upon all hospitals. Almighty God, whose blessed Son Jesus Christ went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, continue, we beseech thee, that this gracious work among us, especially in the hospitals of our land, cheer, healing, and sanctify the sick and the afflicted. Grant to the physicians, surgeons, and nurses wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience, and send down thy blessing on all who labor to prevent suffering and to forward thy purposes of love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we pray for our homes. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, our homes, and drive far from them all the snares of the evil one. Let thy holy angels dwell therein to preserve us in peace, and may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body or estate, especially for those during this coronavirus pandemic are suffering. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. This we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. Above all, for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. We beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with thee and the Holy Ghost, be all glory and honour, world without end. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.